Yeah, coach, you got set. Yeah. So, Brad, ready to go? The season starts tomorrow. Yeah, excited. Yeah, a lot of prep work going on behind the scenes, and uh, it's fun to watch the guys go at it. Um, but now it's something real, something tangible. So, I think we're all ready to go and can't wait until uh, we receive the fans here at City Club. Sam, how is it from the player side? It's been a short off season, and now you're a short training camp, or I guess it's about the same training camp, but plunging in. How, how, how does it feel on your side? Getting yeah, guys through it. Yeah, no, I feel great. You know, um, get to that point in the off season when you're ready to get back on the field. You know, it should get back. So, yeah, it feels good to be in the training camp. As a native Houstonian, did you see a lot of dynamo games? Yeah, growing up, yeah, I went to, went to a lot of dynamo games. Brian Chains to play up there. So, so yeah, those were I, on memories. Go ahead. Okay. Coach, what are you looking forward to facing this Houston Dynamo team? What are you expecting from them? Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, there's been a lot of preseason and preseason scrimmages, and uh, what you read into those, you can't really. Too much about that, but uh, you know, we know we have a tough opponent coming here, right? You never know that these guys are a real good team, they were hard to play against last year, and um, you know, they're a tight knit group. Um, we're not too concerned about who's on their roster right now, we're not concerned with player personnel, we're just concerned about us and what we can take away from our preseason, right? So, we know this is a celebration, um, something that we put ourselves into, um, and it's a privilege to play in the Champions Cup, right? So not everyone gets to do that, um, and we're focusing on ourselves now, and our next game is our most important game, which means now we come out the gates flying against a, a very good Houston team, but this is our game. So looking inward, do you have any injury concerns, or is the team at 100%, so what can you say about your roster? Yeah, I mean, it's just still progressing Rasmus. Um, other than that, everyone's available. Uh, wouldn't be too concerned about uh, anyone else in the roster, for sure. The preseason's been long and hard. Um, but somehow flies by so quickly. <laughs> Just knowing what the amount of work the guys put in. Um, there's a couple of bruises here and there, but I mean, nothing uh, that shouldn't keep us out of contention. Sam, uh, going into this season, uh, it's expected you're going to have probably an increased role. How do you look to get started against Houston, and what do you make of the Dynamo in this first match? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just looking to do my best and help the team. Uh, obviously, I uh, like Chris said, that was a very good team, a very good team. Team that um, if you're not careful, you know, you can get you two, three more down in the first half. So, yeah, you definitely have to respect that, but also go out there you know, with knowing our ability and knowing our talents. So, yeah. Daniel? Sam, I'm just curious, going into a new season, it's difficult or near impossible to feel like you're in a mid season form. So, how do you approach that first game? Do you kind of feel out the first 15 minutes, first half, and then kind of find a stride? Or how, how do you approach that first game? Yeah, I think uh, I think when you go into a game and your number one objective is to enjoy yourself, you know, and to give it your all, it's easy to kind of get into the flow of the game, you know. You don't really have that mentality of like, man, I got to do this. It's kind of just like enjoy the moment. When you play like that and you play free, it's, it's a little bit easier to get into a game. It's not you know, that much pressure. You almost have to dial it back a little bit with all the emotions. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. You know, not obviously not like obviously, you know, mentally you have to be there, you know, you have to be focused, but at the same time, you know, you don't need to be like on your toes about everything, like kind of like frigid, you know, you just gotta relax. So coach, I feel like you have a role to play in that managing expectations and workload for your players going into this first game, how difficult it is to manage that, not only with the first game of the season, but with another game before it. 34 plus reps of that last year. You know, we gave guys a ton of minutes and accumulated uh, some good competition along the way. And um, guys had breakout seasons or breakout careers. You know, they had a breakout uh, moments for them individually. And uh, yeah, we were able to, you know, cultivate that uh, within our group um, this hunger, this desire, this passion to be competitive and, you know, accept where we are currently, right? So, um, and we've had enough reps of that. So going into now year two, that's a good problem to have. Um, you know, so we want to be, you know, too deep on every position and, um, you know, credit to the guys, the competition being healthy. It's been, we've been pushing each other hard in training. We've uh, been demanding a lot uh, of the boys uh, with some of the new concepts that we've been trying to train and do. Um, yeah, like I said, we've come out, you know, without any major concerns. We're just trying to get Rasmus along. And then other than that, uh, the guys are ready to go. Just.
you know, to look at the competition itself. If you're playing an MLS side, if you advance, you're playing another MLS side. Is there a benefit or you know, maybe even something that's hindering to play against a couple of teams that you're very familiar with? Yeah, we're trying to treat this as the experience, right? The, the experience of playing the Champions Cup. Um, like I said earlier, this is a celebration of us in St. Louis, and we know, um, you know, these are the Again, it's another first that we've never had, right? So this is something for us to embrace. Um, you know, it's something for us to enjoy as well. Um, yeah, I think we're just all excited here to get going against, the, like, like Sam said, a good Houston team. Um, but here at City Park, we know, you know, the fans are going to be out there. We know we're going to have a certain energy and a buzz in the stadium. So, you know, um, this is a privilege. We should enjoy these moments. Uh, we'll go to that and then Tom. Finish a few times. Yeah. Coach, how much importance do you place on this first game? Uh, with CONCACAF still utilizing the away goals as a tiebreaker, do you view the energy and intensity that City Park will provide as a reason to go up more so than normal, or is this or does that play a factor at all? Yeah, you have to see what the game presents itself to, right? You have to see how we come out the blocks. You have to see, you know, the sort of which way is the pendulum swinging, and, and how can we gain momentum and grab a, a stranglehold on the game and get control of the game. So. Ultimately, that, that's what we're looking to do. We're looking to control the game um, in all sides uh, or all phases of the play. Um, but it's an exciting one to be playing at home. Yes, I know about all the uh, aggregate scorings and what have you. But again, you know, we just focused on now. And um, if we can build momentum now, and uh, hopefully that carries us through the 90, carries us through to Saturday, carries us through to next week. And we have a tough schedule coming up in the next uh, 11 days. We have four games. So... You know, like I said, these are moments to embrace and enjoy. The training's done, the work's done. Now we just have to get to enjoy and execute. Sam, real quick, in the in the idea of enjoying and executing on the field, can you describe your experience with the fashion show? How was that? How was that? And was it a little bit? How was it in the mindset of getting ready for this? Yeah, you know, I mean, I think it was definitely you know a great experience. You know, to help get my brand out there and also just like see all the different fashionably talented people in, in St. Louis. I mean, yeah, it was, it was great to see that. It was great to kind of unwind, you know, relax a little bit and enjoy yourself, you know, before, before the game, obviously. But, um, but yeah, now we're focused on, now we're focused on tomorrow, focused on going out there and giving our all to this fame. Yeah, so. So, Sam, how have you felt about how the offense has looked in the preseason games? Great. Great. Um, yeah, I really enjoy you know, seeing guys out there seeing here can come in and help us you know, just being up there with Klaus as well. You know, it, it's been great. So um, all together, I think the chemistry is building between us and the team, especially with the new guys coming in. You know, this kind of thing, this kind of coming in. You know, I think the, I think we're building together. You know, and I definitely think that the fans are going to see that and get on the field. So. Right, though there's aren't hurt yet. The status like on Nielsen and Dior as they late arrivals in camp, obviously they missed a lot or Dior have missed a lot of time. How do they where do they stand? Yeah, rust already and, and able to um you know be part of this game. The game is kind of both. You've been in this tournament before and you've been to like exotic locations with it. Does it feel a little different that you're playing? Houston, rather than Dominican no, Republic. I mean, you have to treat this um, like a separate tournament, right? You have to treat this like it, you know, the opposition, what it is, right? Um, and I do think Houston have a slight, uh, yeah, South American, Central American touch to their game of, right? So, um, yeah, they'll pose us uh, many problems. Uh, we have to solve these uh, just as we would, would any other opponent. Um, yeah, it's great to travel, great to see new experiences, but I think this is the experience alone playing the Champions Cup, um, and uh, that just gives more incentive to get through to the next round. It's probably, when you look at like New England's got to make a midweek trip to Panama, that you're making a midweek trip to Houston is probably, fits into better with your with your world in general. Yeah, it's all part of the experience, you know, we can build momentum here at City Park, and then, you know, we, we only focus uh, on next week after Saturday, so right now we totally zoned in on tomorrow, um, and then from tomorrow we're not thinking about Houston again, we think about Salt Lake, right? So we have to compartmentalize everything and, and put our focus on, on where it's necessary and needed. Sorry, I just got one, one way. quick one, Coach. Sure. Um, we just spoke to Houston before you guys arrived, and, and when we asked about the St. Louis City game plan, they say, well, we know Bradley, we know they're going to play with a lot of energy, but as far as the new additions and maybe some little tweaks that you guys make, 
it could reflect on the rest of the MLS. How do people prepare for St. Louis City? Could they expect maybe a couple nuances to how you guys approach it? No, my problem to have. I think that's up to them. And however, they answered it. You know, I'm sure they're they're trying to be best prepared, and uh, we just stick to who we are and we, who we want to be. So we have a certain signature. We're trying nuanced, you know, small changes here and there um, to to evolve. Um, but yeah, we're not going to change anything. Nothing's broken. So that's our mentality. Coach Sam, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.